just gonna have some cereal. Welcome to the vlog. I love the way my hair looks post run speed walk. It's very humbling. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to the vlog. I have been attempting to vlog for a couple days now. I even decided to vlog on my phone as a way to try and be better at vlogging, but it's just been a very uneventful past couple days, but now it's a Saturday. So you know what that means. It's gonna be a mental health, relaxation, celebration, happy Saturday. Okay, speaking of mental health, I want to give a huge thank you to this video's sponsor, Cerebral. For those of you who haven't heard of Cerebral, it is a mental health membership that provides clients with ongoing, comprehensive access to online care and medical management for anxiety, depression, and insomnia for one flat monthly rate. Cerebral is wonderful and very easy to get started as well. There is a perfect plan option for what you need. In our digital world, the online convenience of Cerebral is, well, extremely convenient, not to mention total privacy. All you do is fill out a form, answer some questions, and then choose to subscribe to one of three different membership options. Membership plans start at $99 and may include a combination of care counseling, therapy, and prescription medication. Their comprehensive care plan means that your therapist and your doctor are talking to each other to make sure you get the best care possible. You get to talk about what you're comfortable with in your mental health care journey. Not to mention affordability. No more spending hundreds of dollars at, from psychiatrists or therapists. Cerebral offers that consistent monthly rate at an affordable price. If you'd like to take that next step in working on your mental health, go ahead and click that link down in my description below. You'll get started on your questionnaire, get connected with a provider right away, and your first month starts at only $45. Check out Cerebral today. But anyway, I wanna show you what I do. Oh, I got a fluff on my weekends to try and like relax and make the day about me because that's what the weekends are for. The weekends are for ourselves. I look a bit shiny. Some might call it greasy. I call it hard work. <laughs> I'm gonna shower and glamify and see what the day has to bring. I'm thinking the day will probably bring about me tidying up the apartment. I'll probably relax and read. Tori got me a Kindle for Christmas, so I'm reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo right now, absolutely loving the book. Yeah, and I think I'll probably, you know, do a face mask, get ready and relax, and hang out on Tori's stream on Twitch for the night. How'd you do it? I don't know. Oh, great, now we don't even know. Give me the cucumber. Give me the cucumber. <laughs> Anyway, what I was trying to say was, is it weird that in the morning I can't help but take pictures of Tori? Cause she looks so cute while she's sleeping. Well, anyway, while I was saying that she woke up. So she just woke up to me saying, It was pretty funny. Got got off a good laugh for the morning. Anyway, hi, good morning. Welcome to Mental Health Good Lazy Sunday. Yeah. Happy Sunday. To keep in with our theme of mental health, I thought I would talk about how Tori and I, my girlfriend, for those of you who are new here, what up? I'm bisexual, I'm dating a woman. She's loving my life, et cetera, et cetera, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> We live together in New York City. So we have started dedicating Sundays to being lazy. 
crazy day. Happy Sunday. Our mental health and things that like we love to do are at the top of the list. Lori's gonna play Minecraft with some of her online friends. I'll do Lego, watch true crime documentaries. But yeah, a really big thing that always makes me feel better with my mental health is having my hair done. I got ready yesterday, as you saw from the vlog that I did not finish. <laughs> Surprise. But I blew out my hair. Something as little as like doing my bangs every day uh, just helps me really feel more put together and ready to take on the day. And it's something really simple and easy for me to do that like, it feels like a good accomplishment, you know? So I thought I would show you how I style my curtain bangs since curtain bangs are super in right now. I am so thankful. I got the Dyson blow dryer for Christmas from my mom. I don't know who I was before I had this blow dryer, but it's amazing. Highly suggest if that's something you're interested in. Let me show you how it's done. I clip back my bangs. I take out the parts that I'm working on. It's just easier for me to pin it back so I can see exactly what I'm working with. Get a little bit wet. It's also really dry here in New York because of the winter. So I definitely need a humidifier because my hair is so staticky because it's so blonde. It's just been staticky my whole life, whatever. I'm using this tiny, well, it's the thinnest round brush I have. It actually came with the blow dryer. I would say it's probably like an inch thick. I know in a lot of videos, a lot of people will like go a little bit this way, go a little bit that way, blah, 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 blah. But I don't really have time for that. That does help when you like, you know, blow dry your hair this way and that way. It gives it more um, space to move around but I just want them to lay. So that's what I'm gonna do. All I do is grab it in the blow dryer and, and the hair brown. Yep, mm -hmm. perfect. Twist it and then fire this baby up. And then you just kind of bring it around town. And then once it's dry, I bring it across all the way. Let it kind of look silly like that. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Other side. And same thing. So I know it looks silly, but all you need to do, take a little bit like that. Sometimes you can even brush through it. You want, do you see that? Static electricity, you know, you know it, oh yeah. That is how I style my curtain bangs. I'm vlogging, duh. Little tip, you can also brush your eyebrows with your hairbrush. You know, if you're in a rush or something like that. Another thing, uh, also I'm very nervous to be vlogging outside, especially with people across the street staring at me. Okay, they're not even staring at me, no one gives a fuck. Okay, another thing that I try and do during the winter for summer's chasing a leaf <laughs> for my mental health is get some vitamin D, go in the damn sun. You know, I live by a lot of really tall buildings, so sometimes that requires me walking to actually find the sun. As you can see, I'm still in the shade. Yes, I do have to walk a bit to find this, the sun, but at the end of the day, I always find it, hee <laughs> hee, unless it's cloudy. And as soon as she was here, she is gone, but she will come back. What are you doing? Huh? Are you having a lazy day? Are you having a lazy day? We're all having a lazy day today, right? Happy day with the baby. Screw it. I'm pushing on to good mental health vlogging day three. But this vlog is gonna be a little bit different than the other two because now it's a Monday morning and it's a, a it's the work week and I just feel really behind. You know, I was in bed early last night. I was ready to go to bed. And then at like midnight, Tori and I were like, let's get McDonald's. Summer, it's okay. Come here, come here. You gotta show the people that you're okay. So anyway, we got McDonald's and then since we got McDonald's, I didn't go to sleep until 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> I was planning on waking up super early. I was gonna try and wake up at 8.30 and be out of bed at nine. She's very dramatic. And now it's 11.30, so I just feel like this day has the ability for me to feel like shit all day, but I'm not gonna let that happen. So here is my attempt at good mental health when you're feeling behind. So I'm gonna get ready super quick. I'm gonna make a pot of coffee. I'm gonna make an English muffin, eat, 
drink, power walk with Summer, and that'll get me flowing and going. And then hopefully I'll be able to like start walking. Thinking around like one or two, maybe 1.30 will be a good goal. Do not forget to wear. Do not forget to wear SPF during the day. It'll save your mental health when you're older because you won't have to worry about skin damage, even in the winter, every day. This is like the worst. It's really difficult to vlog and put butter on at the same time. So just give me a second here. I'm trying to be artsy. <laughs> We're definitely having sex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. And when we got back to her apartment, well, if you can tell, I got out of the shower. I got ready. I'm falling. I'm standing on my power walk. I was listening to the podcast, We're Having Gay Sex, hosted by Ashley Gavin, and then co-hosted by Gara. I believe their last name is Lonning. I'm gonna feel bad if I pronounce that incorrectly, but they had me on their podcast as a guest, and it is the most real, you guys, I have ever gotten talking about on my channel. You guys know I get so uncomfortable talking about that, but I was just so comfortable talking with the both of them, and it was such a fun podcast. Such a fun podcast. They are both hilarious. Here's a little a little teaser. We're definitely having sex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. And when we got back to her apartment, she lost her keys. Maybe God doesn't want you to have sex. God did not want me to have gay sex. The locksmith guy doesn't come till three o'clock in the, the morning. Did the locksmith guy get there and just be like, oh shit, did you did you guys want to have sex or something? And you were like, yes. Uh, he knew it immediately. So. He's like, oh god, I can obviously uh, tell. Like, Why are you guys naked already? What's that smell <laughs> on your hands? I will link that also down in my description below if you want to go listen to the episode of We're Having Gay Sex that I'm on. Hilarious times. And listen to the rest of the podcast because it's hilarious. Fuck, while we're talking about podcasts, Tori and I, our podcast, okay anyway, we also came out with a new episode, so. Yeah, 2021 is going to be a year that we actually do our podcast. Lots of great podcast information on this vlog. All right, well, it is... Goodness. It is much later than expected. It's 4 p.m. Now I've got to edit, continue emailing. But that's okay, Tori is twitching. She's streaming on Twitch. She is not just over there twitching. So it'll be fun to just kind of like sit next to her. And I like that our office is together. So we get to like be close to each other even though we're both doing our own thing. So it's fun. But I wanna know about your guys' mental health. So comment down below how you are feeling. I feel like in the beginning of a new year, the first couple weeks, or like the first week of the new year, I'm like, fuck yeah, new year. I'm so excited. This is gonna be my year. And then after we continue for a couple weeks and you know, the weather is still bland, and it's cold and gray outside. Sometimes I feel very, what the fuck am I doing with my life? So if anyone else feels that way and has some, some suggestions down below, things that you do to keep your mental health bumping, Bumpin. That seems extremely embarrassing. Let me know. All right, love y'all. See you next time. Say bye. Say bye bye.